The new G-Wagon is not the only living legend we have on stage tonight. We also have a very special guest who is a perfect match for this special car. Both were born in Graz and now have a huge fan base here in the US and around the world. Both are strong characters, sporting a rather boxy design, and both make me look like the only guy on stage who could use some time in the gym. Let's give a big hand to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Welcome. Hello, Dieter. Wie geht's? Great, great. I'm so Very glad nice. that you lived up to your promise. I'll be back. Of course. The Terminator <laughs> always keeps his promise. Absolutely. But absolutely. It, as I told you, Dieter, it is such a great honor to be here today at this celebration and the introduction of the new G-Wagon because I have driven G-Wagons now for 25 years. That's so I love this car. This is my favorite SUV. A real, real loyal customer. Absolutely. So thank you very much for joining us. And throughout your career, obviously, you have been in many different roles, mastered them all, from Conan, Terminator, you just mentioned, governor, not the least of all. And you always were successful, even when it was in difficult terrain. So you really know what we are talking about here. What, for you, makes an automotive icon? Well, I think it's a very good question because I think what is unique about this G-Wagon is, as you said, it was born in Graz, Austria, where I was born, except 32 years later. But little did I know that when I started getting into bodybuilding and building the best body, at the same time, G-Wagon became the best built SUV. Then I started getting interested in becoming more powerful. All of a sudden, the G-Wagon. I saw becoming more powerful. Then I was getting more muscular. The G-Wagon got more muscular. Then I wanted to get faster. Then the G-Wagon got more fa fast. So it was unbelievable. So basically what we're talking about here is the true twins. Think about that. Absolutely. The two, Absolutely. The two I think twins. about but, that. <laughs> but here is the most amazing thing, Dieter, that I try to prove how I can go from one part to another how I can go from bodybuilding to show business, and how I can go from show business to politics, effortlessly. And then at the same time, this happened here with the G-Wagon again. It can go from snow to mud effortlessly. It can go from the freeway to off-road effortlessly. It can go right in front of a movie premiere. I pulled out with this G-Wagon a movie premiere, and it looks like an elegant limousine, effortlessly. This SUV can do anything and everything, and this is why I love this car. And now I have something, thank you very much for all of that, but of course, I have something, something which is different. This week, we went, we took through several facelifts. What did you to stay in shape? Is it schnitzel or is it sport? Well, I tell you, sport is very important, but you know, you never say to anyone in Hollywood, what did you do for your facelift? Uh, this is an absolute well, no Well, that's why I said this is the only different thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I tell you that I, I think that you guys did a fantastic job because I prayed that when you talk about redesigning the car and coming out with a new G-Wagon, that you don't touch the look of it because I think this car became so uh, historic and such a great car, and it, uh, it is loved by everyone around the world because of its look, the visual look, the boxy kind of a look is what is so attractive about the car. And so what you did was you improved the car now, and the inside is, of course, spectacular. I got a quick look at it in Beverly Hills. And the performance, and it's a more energy efficient and fuel efficient engine and a more powerful engine and everything has been improved but the look is still fantastic it has this boxy look except it is now wider 10 Absolutely. centimeters wider and i had much more leg space in the back do you have any free time because we need a few more salesperson for our new g-wagon <laughs> i think <laughs> there's no better chance we can have than this one but you're perfectly informed that's exactly right so um clearly 
um, we listened to you, we heard your prayers, or someone heard your prayers, and we followed suit. And exactly, even though that every single part is new, it looks just like the former one. And that's what was our job objective. Nadira, I have a question for you. Yes? I think a lot of my friends, especially since I'm an environmentalist and I'm interested in the environment, and I think that eventually we have to get off fossil fuels. What is the future in fossil fuels? And does this G-Wagon eventually come out as an electric G-Wagon? Because I have one right now in Los Angeles, an electric G-Wagon, the first one in the world, and it drives fantastic. What is the future on that? You know, um, last year we said publicly that we would um, change the entire Mercedes portfolio to having all electric drivetrains as well. And that clearly says, stay tuned. So you will electrify the Mercedes. We said the entire, the entire portfolio. That's fantastic. Let's give him a big hand for that one. This is very important to the world, to the health of the world. Thank I agree totally much. with Thank you. you. And uh, before we leave, Dieter, since you have stayed so much and lived so long in America, I saw you becoming more Americanized. Yes, I've seen you with true. jeans. True. Which is not common with executives. Nope. Of your level, especially. And then I've seen you many times in cowboy boots. Today, tonight, it was too cold here for it, cowboy it, These are better isolated. It's OK. <laughs> I have my cowboy boots yeah. on, so don't worry about it. You're not such but, a wimp that I am. <laughs> but I have a gift for you here. A gift? Which is very important that you, this is, makes them the complete cowboy out of you. Let's have the gift. Wow. First of all, let's have mine. Wow. Right here, cowboy hat, and here's your cowboy hat. Wow, and it fits. So look wow. at this now. Wow, that is great. <laughs> Most impressive. <laughs> that fits perfectly well. Wagon here. So I really guys. <laughs> very much appreciate that. This is a great idea, and I'm really going to the hotel right afterwards and get my boots. Aber ganz schnell. Absolut. Ich werde rennen. Okay. Well, Arnold, thanks again for very, very much for all you have uh, contributed here. Um, this is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate. Uh, I would very much like to follow an old tradition, and I guess you know that. Uh, it's from Mount Schöckel. Whoever masters this downhill ride, which is really, really tough, is awarded with a G-strong Austrian drink, Sirben Schnaps. I don't even think there's a proper translation for Sirben Schnaps. But Arnold, you certainly know what this means and what I'm talking about. So anyways, cheers to the new G-Class. <laughs> and cheers to the team who brought it to life. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers, the pleasure. cheers to G-Wagon. Ah, that's a good one. You don't have that in California, do you? No. no. <laughs> no. Well, I, I, I import it to California. Okay, okay, okay. okay I bring it to California <laughs> because I love schnapps. I think that one schnapps a day keeps the doctor away. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay, thank you very much. So.